One skill that you must teach your child. Now what it is and how I witnessed my children thriving after learning this skill. Welcome to the channel. I'm Nora and here to talk about the wonderful skill that will really help your child thrive. Children are complex yet simple human beings. When I look at a child, I envision a dry sponge. It's waiting to be soaked in water. It absorbs everything you put into it, whether it's clean water, detergent, or grease. This is exactly how the child's mind works, especially before the age of seven. Now, why? Because seven and below is the key to the subconscious mind, and this has been proven scientifically through research. I'd like to share a wonderful quote by Pope Francis, give me a child until it is seven and I will show you the man. Now, according to Dr. Bruce Lipton, we undergo programming in the first seven years. Now, Dr. Bruce uh, Lipton is an American developmental biologist who um, has been the guest of um, a couple of really uh, successful documentaries talking about the subconscious mind. And he says um, in a quote I'd like to share with you, 95% of the results in our life come from that programming of the subconscious, which is during the first seven years of life. These are the key. The first seven years of life are really, really important because what it does is it, I want you to focus on giving the child as many life skills to enrich their lives and allow them to choose which of these skills do they want to practice? Which of these skills do they like to improve on later in life? Now, this is the exact reason why gardening is one of the best tools that can empower and teach children essential life skills. Let me explain. Not only is it therapeutic and it can be used in amazing relaxation and bonding activity between the child and nature, but it is this single activity reaps so, so many benefits. First of all, empathy, because through the art of gardening, children learn how to be empathetic towards nature, towards plants, towards other wildlife in and around the gardening area. They're taught that each element in nature, from birds and worms to weeds and soil, have an effect on us and they can be affected by the child. Gradually, they learn to channel their emotions and empathy in a positive way. Now, gardening is wonderful because it is also educational. And what better way to learn about nature and the outdoors than a hands-on empowering activity such as gardening. And small gardening tasks, they could be utilized by parents and caregivers basically to educate children about the life cycle of plants. Now, if you're involved in planting and caring for edibles, then that's a fantastic opportunity to teach them about the health benefits of the food that they grow. Depending on their age, you can take the activity further into the kitchen. A simple step-by-step -step recipe from the harvest empowers them to take control of their health, hunger, and creates long-lasting, wonderful memories to cherish later on. The choices are endless when it comes to the educational opportunities of gardening. Gardening also teaches them the power of responsibility because it teaches them to be responsible for their actions and for their decisions. Once they decide to be involved in the planting process, they learn to be responsible for taking care of their plant, watering it at certain intervals and offering the right environment for it to flourish with the assistance of an adult also. It also teaches them patience. Children learn the art of patience at an early age through the planting process. And what that does is it's because plants require a lot of patience and can take in between three to five weeks to sprout and a minimum of three to five months to harvest in most cases. Ideally, children can be directed by the adult to learn to be patient and still perform the responsibility of caring for the plant without expending or expecting immediate results for their efforts. It also teaches them consistency and consistency is a wonderful thing that we all require in this modern age. And the practice of consistency is downgraded in our modern era. We seem to be jumping from one thing to another in a world of trends. Learning to garden emphasizes being consistent as a vital habit for the survival of plants. The child learns that in order for plants to bloom and reach the harvest stage, we need to be consistent. We need to be consistent in watering, trimming and fertilizing until the results are obtained. Patience and consistency. These are two great habits that work one on one. 
It also teaches them attention to detail through observation of their surroundings, their plants. Children learn the skills of precision, of attention to detail. They develop a strong attention to detail and they become involved in removing the surrounding weeds that may affect the overall plant growth. In addition, they will learn to monitor the soil if it needs watering and water accordingly. Children uh, gradually learn that in order for things to thrive, we need to pay attention to the small details that make the bigger picture. It also is a great activity to help them with bonding. And through the act of caring for the plants, they learn to bond with nature, as well as with the adult caretaker and create wonderful memories to cherish in the future. And one of the best times in Australia that I had with my daughter is when we walked in the backyard every summer morning and watered the plants. I could see the spark in her eyes and how much she looked forward to these mornings. The 15 minutes of uninterrupted bonding time as we water soiled and waited for the seeds to sprout all add up. They all create joyful memories to look to later on. It is also a relaxing activity. It's a relaxing activity because it creates a therapeutic way to relax and unwind in nature. And this is really essential for children. It's essential for children in our modern world of endless gaming and screen time. Gardening provides a grounding effect. It helps them connect. It helps them appreciate nature more and it induces a relaxed, grateful state. The birds chirping, the cold breeze, the greenery, combined with the soil's grounding warmth, all create the perfect atmosphere to relax. Sustainability. There is no better time to teach children the benefits of a sustainable lifestyle than now. Through the practice of gardening, what we learn is to emphasize to ch on children to learn how to adopt a sustainable lifestyle, reduce food waste, while also focusing on natural and organic homegrown edibles. Gardening has endless physical and mental benefits for children. It combines multiple essential skills in a one fun hands-on activity that parents and children can thrive on together. Do you agree? What activity would you teach your children and why? Please share your experiences in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And if you would like to support my journey here on the channel and get updates on what we post, then kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel.